Hi, it's Crystal from crystalrsimpson.com. If this is your first video with me, welcome. If it is not your first video, welcome back. So I actually wrote this post a few weeks ago before everything got a little crazy, um, but I didn't put a video with it. So I'm coming back to um, be able to share again what God shared on my heart a few weeks ago um, and then also put a video with it. So this actually is a, a late post, but you know what? It's still relevant to today. Um, the title is called God Can't Protect Us From Sickness. You know, I woke up a few weeks ago in the morning with more news, just like I woke up this morning to more news about coronavirus or COVID-19. And I began to pray, you know, I was asking God to protect my family and my friends from the sickness. And as I said, amen, I went on with my day, but I kept pondering about sickness and disease, you know. I want God to fix it. I wanted God to just take it away from everyone. But as I got up from praying, I felt secure. I know that although God, he may not stop the illness and disease, he can protect us from the, the sickness and he can also watch over his children. So again, the title is called God Can Protect Us From Sickness. We have to understand that this world that we live in obviously is not the Garden of Eden. You know, you remember sin caused Adam and Eve to lose their right to live there. And so when sin entered our world, it brought with it sickness, disease, and death. In our world, we've had many illnesses in the past. I mean, we've had polio, HIV, influenza, smallpox. These illnesses do not come from God, but they come from the enemy. Life on earth is just temporary, and we can take heart that there will not be any sickness in God's kingdom, which is heaven. The reality is that at some point we will all pass away from this world as we know it. And according to the Bible, we just can't live forever here on earth, and we will all die once. That comes from Hebrew 9, chapter, verse 27. The world we live in right now is flawed. According to the Bible, things on this earth, they will get worse because of the enemy. Eventually, all things will pass away. And for this reason, God has prepared a way to bring us eternal life. You know, he wants to be, us to be able to spend eternity with him in his kingdom. You know, the one without any sickness and death. The enemy, of course, doesn't want us to find that path. How we live on earth is essential to God, and it determines whether we live for, with God for eternity. God desires that we become his child and that we live a life of faith that trusts him. God wants us to prosper and be in good health. He says in the Bible, even as our soul prospers in 3 John first chapter, verse 2. You know, more important than our bodily health to God is our spiritual health. We can only experience the eternal life that God wants to give us if we are reborn spiritually as a child of God. And that, of course, is by accepting Jesus as our Savior. When we hear of sicknesses and pandemics like the coronavirus, we must realize that this world is worsening. And as children of God, he promises to give us abundant life. Being a child of God gives us comfort to know that while we can't control anything, we are secure in knowing that God can. And so, you know, we're on a path. And we have to pray and trust that God has that plan. The enemy is determined to rule this world and lead people astray. He brings fear and he brings illness. We must pray and trust God. We must remember that as children of God, one day we will arrive at a home that is God's kingdom. And one day the world will be free, of course, from suffering and pain. And while we wait on that day, we should share the good news with others so that they know how to be reborn spiritually into the family of God as well. Being a Christian does not mean that we will never get sick. I mean, when children of God experience sickness, we are to pray and ask God to heal us. He is faithful and he will answer us. He may answer us using a doctor. He may answer us with divine healing. He may deliver us from sickness while we're on the earth, or he may heal us as he takes us home to be with him in his kingdom. We can only pray believing 
and then trust God to answer our prayers as he sees best. The Bible says when sickness comes, we are to call upon the elders of the church so that they can pray over us with oil. That scripture comes from James 5, 14 through 15. It says, it's any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Again, that's James 5, through the verse 14 through the 15 of the King James Version. The enemy obviously sees what state many churches are in, and he knows that many people have decided not to attend church, and some who attend church still do not pray. Prayer is so vital. During illness and sickness, we need to pray for our salvation. We need to pray for healing of others with the disease, and we also need to pray for divine protection from the illness. So each time on the website, I like to post a prayer. And so we need to pray for divine protection from illness. Uh, We need to pray again for ourselves and our our loved ones, our family, our friends. So the prayer that is on the website this week is a prayer that asks God for forgiveness and protection from the disease. We want to pray that others find refuge in God and that this illness subsides. So let's bow our heads together in prayer as we pray today. Heavenly Father, I come running to you today with my heart bowed. I praise you and I thank you for being my creator, my savior, and my God. You are my protector and you are all powerful. I know that there is nothing that I could ever ask that is too hard for you. God, no matter how good or holy I think I have been, sometimes I fall short. I always start my prayers by asking for forgiveness. Please wash away all my sins and forgive me for anything that I may have done, thought, or said that was not right. Father, as I look around, I see all of your creation and my many blessings. Sadly, I also hear of sickness and disease that is spreading worldwide. Father, I resist the fear that the enemy brings because I know that you can protect our family from all viruses. I put my faith and trust in you. I stand on your word that you will not let evil befall me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. As a child of God, I seek and thank you for your divine hedge of protection, which is available to me through my faith in Jesus Christ. I pray your protection on all of my friends and my family. I pray that others will find refuge in you. I pray that the illness be contained in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. I hope that prayer was a blessing to you. I hope the post was a blessing to you. I hope as you continue to seek God for yourself, that you will find the same comfort that no matter what, God's got it. He's got it all in control. We cannot decide how he's going to handle it, how it's going to end. None of that is even up to us to even worry about. All we have to do is lay it at his feet and pray and ask God to help us. If you like of content on the blog you will see um, a spot where you can actually subscribe to make sure that you receive each post that i write and also if you're seeing this on youtube video then you can subscribe and like and comment and make sure you hit the bell so that you are sure to get each video post i am determined to be obedient you know i know each one of us has something that we can do for god's kingdom and this is my contribution i pray that it's blessed you And I pray that you stay blessed and stay well in Jesus' name.